What's going on, guys? It's Steve. The Golden State Warriors might finish with the best record in... Well, they will finish with the best record in the NBA. Not might. Um... There's just no way around it. And the reason why I say that is because as soon as the Cleveland Cavaliers get that number one spot secure, which they probably will because they have a pretty pretty big gap between the rest of the teams. They have like an 85 win percentage compared to, I think, Atlanta has like a 67 right now. I think Cleveland's 11-2, and two, Atlanta's 10-5. and five. This is based off memory. So, again, this is uh, November 25th, so... I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but whatever. Uh, Boston, I think they're 9-6. and six. Toronto's 9. I think Boston, Toronto, and Chicago are all tied. And then I think Charlotte, I think they're a game behind at 8-6. And, and New York, 7-7. Seven and seven. And I think it's Milwaukee, 6-7. I, I, it may be wrong, but that's all off memory. Um, yeah, so because no one played yesterday at Thanksgiving Day. But, you know, that's all off memory. Hopefully that was correct. I'm pretty sure it was. I don't know. But, you know, the, the Cleveland Cavaliers, they have a pretty good, big gap. I know they didn't play as many games as, you know, Atlanta. Atlanta played 15. Cleveland played 13. You know, so they have a three-game margin. And, you know, not only that, but when you get to the level to, like, once you get that number one seed and you're LeBron James and you're obviously the best ever, you know, when you get to that level, it's like as soon as they get the number one seed, they're not even going to go after, you know, winning any more games or any records. LeBron doesn't care about that. So he's going to rest. You know, they're not going to finish with a high seed. I mean, they're not going to finish with the best record in the league because they're going to start losing more games. Kyrie's going to sit down. Kevin Love's going to sit down. You know, their bench is going to be playing. But that's to be expected. You know, it sucks. That's why you should never buy tickets to um, uh, for really good teams at the, for the end of the year because you're not going to see the star players play. The only time I would recommend doing that is for a mid-level to low-tier team. For example, not the uh, for example like the Charlotte Hornets, who are now eight and six, or you know the Milwaukee Bucks, or the Detroit Pistons, or if you want to go to the Western Co- or in the Pacers, you want to go to the Western Conference, the Utah Jazz, the Thunder, the Lakers, the Trailblazers. The reason why I say that is because they're gonna have an epic matchup with other teams towards the end of the season because they're fighting for the to get a higher seed so they don't play the best team in the first round. Uh, in whatever conference, so I would recommend that. But anyway, you know, so the Cavaliers are not going to have the best record. Uh, the Clippers, they're fourteen and two. They actually do have the best record in the NBA right now. However, I don't see it happening. I don't see it lasting. They'll probably finish second in the West. But you know, the Western Conference. Last time I checked, I know Los Angeles. They were ten and two, so that means they're on a four-game winning streak. Golden State, I'm pretty sure it's nine now. Last time I checked, it was eight, and they won. So it's nine-game winning streak. The Spurs are on a seven-game winning streak. Memphis is on a either – I think it's five. No, no, no. It, it's six. It has to be six because I'm pretty sure Memphis is like nine and five or ten and five. I really should be on NBA.com right now. But, guys, I do all of this crap based off memory. Hopefully, I'm right. Maybe someone in the comments can fact-check me and tell me if all my – Things are right. Hopefully, I am. But you know, the West right now, they're they're on crazy winning streaks. The Pelicans are on a four game winning streak. They're doing their thing. You know, it's crazy, man. Uh, I think Sacramento's on a two game. It's crazy, dude. You know, there are lots of teams on winning streaks right now uh, in the Western Conference. Whereas I think I think Cleveland's on like a one or two game winning streak, and I think that's pretty much it. You know, in the in the East. But so yeah, so Cleveland's not gonna finish with the best record. Golden State probably will. Um, again, my predictions for the seedings, you know, you know, I probably change that to, you know, I probably change this video to the seedings instead of Golden State finishing with the best record. My opinion on the seedings, um, it would probably be number one, Cleveland. I'm still going to go with number two with New York. I know instant dislike, God, whatever, man. Number one, Cleveland. Number two, the Knicks are only three games behind. Number one, Cleveland. Number two, New York. Number three, Atlanta. No, 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 excuse me, sorry. Number one, Cleveland. Number two, New York. Number three, Toronto. Number four, Atlanta. Number five, Chicago. Number six, Boston. Number seven. Uh, this is this is this is tough. Number seven, probably gonna have. I'm gonna probably give number seven to the Charlotte Hornets and number eight. Either the Milwaukee Bucks, who, by the way, Giannis Antetokounmpo is averaging like twenty two, eight and five, which is ridiculous. Or either Milwaukee or Indiana. Um, but I think Indiana might get the eighth seed. But right now they're awful. Um, but yeah. So in the Western Conference, we have, uh, I would say, obviously, Golden State. 
uh, Los Angeles, two. Clippers, that is. Three, uh, the San Antonio Spurs. Four, the Memphis Grizzlies. Five, hmm, this is where it gets tough. Five, I would probably have to give it to... Uh, these are, the rest of the teams are pretty much garbage. Uh, five, I'd have to give it to the Houston Rockets. I'm not trying to offend any teams. Five, give it to the Houston Rockets. Six, Utah. Seven, Los Angeles Lakers. And eight, Trailblazers. Well, actually, I, I'd put the Trailblazers where Utah is. Put Utah where I put the Lakers and Lakers eighth. That's what I predict. Um, but yeah, so, you know, the Golden State Warriors, they're doing their thing. Is it? Yeah, man. So the Golden State Warriors, they're doing the thing, and you know, that's just that's just the way it is, man. Golden State's doing the thing. I know I can't make everyone happy with my predictions, but that's kind of why I'm straying away from doing these NBA strictly, like just talking about basketball with 2K in the background. It's, you know, it, it's boring, man. I don't, I don't know, dude. It's just like to me, you know, I feel bad because I know you can't make everyone happy. But I also I try I also try to see the other side of the spectrum, but also I'm not you know a snowflake. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like other YouTubers like oh yeah Indiana they're so good or oh yeah the Charlotte Hornets they're they're good. Kemba Walker's top ten like I I can't you know I, I'm more realistic and I know I'm biased a little towards the Knicks but dude they're only three games behind Atlanta, three, you know and they had a terrible start. Come on man you know so. There's that, and KP's playing good, you know what I'm saying, so, it's just the way it is, man, but, I don't know, dude, ah, whatever, I'm out of here, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, peace. Yeah.